Hello everyone, it's your favorite realtor, Erica Hernandez. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. I know this weather is just getting us all sick. It's getting hot, it's getting cold. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Is it going to rain? Is this cold front coming? Who knows? But it's been an interesting time here in Houston and the weather has just been so crazy. Wherever you are, I hope you're staying warm and you're staying healthy and taking care of yourself. That's really important. And I do thank you for stopping today to see my video. Today I'm going to be making a video about a question that I get a lot from clients that are purchasing a property. The number one question I typically get from buyers and sellers actually who are selling a property is always about the school districts. And so a lot of times when I'm showing a home and the buyers really like it, they'll ask me, hey Erica, so what school is this particular home zoned to? In today's video, I'm going to show you what resources I typically use to determine the school and get more information about the school. And all this information is available for anyone who's looking for a home and really concerned with the school districts, in particular, the school that that house or that property is going to be zoned to. If you would like to learn more about how to find information on a school that a particular home is zoned to and how you figure out if that's a good school for your children, I'm gonna show you what are the key things you need to be looking for and where you can find this information. Again, thank you for stopping by. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you watch me regularly, thank you so much. I appreciate you and I love to hear more from you. Please use the comment section below with any other questions you have possibly a topic you'd like me to discuss next time i would really love if you hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos just like this one all right i'm not gonna waste any more of your time let's get started so there are different ways that we can find this information and i'm going to be showing you that in the next portion of my video i hope you enjoy it when you're looking at a listing the first thing you need to do is scroll all the way down. All this information is really important for you to read. However, the school district and schools information is at the bottom here. You see how some of them have stars and some of them have medals? Let's go ahead and click on their Silver Lake Elementary School. As soon as you pull it up, you're gonna find some information on the school. Talks about the school summary, teachers, has a little map of where that school is at. Here you see how it met standard, has those stars and also those medals. You see here performance index, four out of four. Any distinction designations and there's where you see the medals. Here's where you start to see the student statistics. If that information is important for you, this is where you'll find it. You also will find here the programs, also staff statistics information as well, what the experience of the teachers is. And then here, teacher type, if there's female or male teachers on that campus. Here's where you'll find the student statistics as far as reading and math and what was accomplished. And then here's just the boundary map because if you're really liking these statistics, you can actually look to see if there's any other homes nearby zoned to that same school. I'll also attach the website that I'm exploring here. I really like this one because it did have the 2019 best school districts and it starts to number them. You can see Friendswood at the top, Katie, Tomball, and it kind of goes all the way down to show you the best districts that were for 2019. Another resource is texasschoolsguide.org. And here all I did was I entered actually my office address and that's what you can do if you're interested about a particular home. You can go on this website, put the home address and kind of search to see what schools are around there. And as you can see here, it starts with the A+, starts to go to the A-, minuses, and it kind of just keeps going to B, C, and D. And so for your own personal preference, if you definitely want to be in a school that is top a plus rated, then I would suggest you go through this website, you see what school that is um, 
rated the highest and then you kind of can look to see which homes are near that area. I explored the website also and then I entered all the A plus in Brazoria County in Pearland and Pearland ISD and I click search if that's like somewhere you want to live then you can use this kind of advanced search and then anything that is in that criteria like I said all the A pluses everything in Pearland Brazoria County it will come up here and so you'll get to see all the top schools that way all right guys i hope you enjoyed that portion of the video which is where i'm showing you how to find this information on school districts and particular schools and how to read the information you're finding now let's move on a little bit to how does it affect your resale value for your home even though you may not have children and you're not too concerned about the school districts because you maybe are not planning to have children at all or you have children who maybe have already graduated high school and probably are in college whatever your scenario is you may not be too concerned about the school because you don't have children in elementary middle or high school and so you're not too concerned about that and i'm going to go ahead and stop you right there it is really important to pay attention to what school district and the school that you are going to be buying a property at because actually, according to statistics, you don't stay in your home for a lifetime. Only a few people do that. On average, people move every seven to 10 years. And this makes sense because there are so many events in our life, things that change. And so either kids are moving out and going to college or your family's growing, so you need more space or what you are needing in a home has changed or the area has changed. There's so many reasons why on average, People move every seven to 10 years. This is important information. So in combination with how do I find information about school districts and schools, and what does it do for my resale value, these two pieces of information should help you out. And if you have any more questions, please feel free to contact me. I would love to help you with this and other things dealing with real estate. All right, guys, I hope you found this video very helpful for you. And if you are looking to purchase a home in the coming year, I would love to help you. Or if you know someone who is going to purchase, please send them my way. I love referrals. I really enjoy working with all my clients and all my referrals. And they really enjoy working with me. And you'll see that. And the first thing they do is report back to you who referred them and tell you all the great things and how well it went with me. I think this is really special. So don't be afraid to reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you or anyone who you think may enjoy my services. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. Don't forget to follow me on social media at Erica Houston Realtor on Snapchat, Facebook, and Instagram. I really appreciate everyone who has been following me and commenting on all my social media posts, both personal and business. I just really love sharing a little bit of my life and possibly even encouraging some of my followers to follow their dreams and do what they love. And I really love real estate and you can see it in most of my social medias. But I also love doing other things too. And I like sharing this with my social media followers because it just kind of helps me connect with more people. And I'm a people person. I enjoy others company. I enjoy learning from other people. You never stop learning. And with social media, we're able to learn so much about each other. I think it's very special. and It's something that I really appreciate. Okay, well, I won't take up any more of your time. I hope you have a good day and thanks for watching.